watch. They get up and down and they put big numbers, especially in this building. And again, the big news coming out earlier today when we were at shoot around, wow. the news was not that good for that man, Big C, Zivanamir Ivasic. He was still not eligible. Then an hour later, they got the email from the NCAA. He is eligible. He is expected to play today. The two backups coming into the game, and these are not your two <laughs> average backups. Rob Dillingham and Reed Shepard are young and old works for both of these squads. Reeves has it knocked out of bounds. Our first media timeout. And Coach Cowell's been begging for the crowd to get loud. That's exactly what they do. And guess what? I'm free. See y'all tonight at the game. And uh, I thank you all for the support. Go BBN. Yeah, Big Z is ready to go. In fact, he's about to check in and make his Kentucky debut. This is Kentucky basketball in a nutshell, right? Fans actually spent $4,000 for a billboard across the street from the NCAA. Hashtag free Big Z. They've been waiting for dividends on a decision. They finally got one this afternoon. And the seven foot two Croatian is about to make his Kentucky debut. It was a buddy on Twitter at Big Blue Bud. They got it started. They put the sign up across the NCAA. I don't know if that meant anything or not. But all of a sudden, now he's eligible. A guy from Croatia, last two years played in Montenegro, which sounds like quite a place to visit. I've never been there. I haven't either. But I'd like to think, Sonny, if I ever got some type of a bind, you would raise enough money to free Morgan the billboard. I know you would do that, the kind of guy that you are. He averaged 11 points, five rebounds, three blocks per game in the under 20 Euro championship. Crowd is on their feet. I mean, they welcome been, to SEC play. Well, welcome to SEC basketball. Welcome to Kentucky basketball. He's number 44 in white. He's on the block right now. Reeves throws up a runner and misses. Ivasic is a typical European player in a lot of ways in that he's big, but he has a really good outside touch and overall handle. 7-2. I watched him warm up today. He's got a pure jump shot from outside. So my guess would be a typical European player, right? Yep. Handle it, pass it, shoot it, face it up from outside. Trey Mitchell whistled for the foul. That's his first. What a great start by this Bulldog squad. They more than held their own through the opening stanza plus here. You start a point guard, Georgia does, and then you bring in the veteran, Justin Hill, who will play a lot of minutes. He's very good with the basketball. Again, another guy that takes big shots. Chiwa gets an offensive rebound. He's guarded by Big Z right now. Drive and blocked by Big Z, his first meaningful moment in a Kentucky uniform. Mitchell spot and fire, misses everything. I thought maybe they would reward him on the offensive yeah, end. Yeah, I thought so too. Let him establish himself, let him have a touch. He was rim running, he got to the other end of the floor quickly. Strong take, stripped of the basketball, out of bounds. Melendez. Known for his shot blocking, his ability to move his feet and get to the ball. He does it by fakes. Long reach, easy block. We do not see Abdul Rahim take it to the rim that often. What a story. Big Z. You know, he actually went home, and they told him, you can go home for a couple weeks around the holidays. Go see your family. Take advantage of the time away, and that's going to be a turnover on Georgia. You know, he lost 20 pounds, uh, had some stomach illnesses, obviously getting used to American food, a lot of stress in his life, in his world yeah. when he came here. But the one thing he said about Kentucky, I love the environment, I love the fans, I've never been coached this way. So when they sent him home, it wasn't like they worried that he wouldn't come back. No, he never, never even contemplated quitting or giving up on his dream to play Kentucky basketball. Good matchup between the... the at home. Weak side defense. Where are you? But again, you get chest to chest with Reeves. What we've seen Antonio do this season more than he did a year ago. Put it on the floor. Take it to the rim. Clear path to the bucket. Back to a tie ball game. Ten all. Justin Hill, slow start in his point position. Doesn't look comfortable. Thomason, a great offensive weapon. But in danger of turning it over here, and Dillingham comes up with the loose change. Ahead to Reeves, all the way, backs it home. Count the basket and a foul. 
Mitchell whips it over to Shepard, spots up for a three. Got it! Rebound, and now part of the steal here. Tough to defend because the two guards out front now for Kentucky have such great range. Oh, big Z behind the back to Reeves. Whoa! Showtime from Croatia to Lexington. An 11-0 Kentucky run. Look at that emotion. is free and plays with ease caught the basketball again did not think about finishing it himself <laughs> that's seven oh. two seven and the, two going behind the back and the best part is reeves finished the play that's two assists for big z in three minutes and, and, a, and a block shot and a block shot I, i'd say he's not too nervous and the feeling in this building is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. You and I have done a number of games at Rep Arena over the years, and Coach Cal, quite frankly, was imploring Big Blue Nation to not just show up, but to be loud. And this is as loud as I've heard Rep Arena in a while. In my hotel next to the arena, when it came out at about, what, 135 that he was going to be able to play, yeah. everywhere I was, having lunch, walking in, people talking, and that's all they said. We get to see Big Z tonight, and I thought, well, who knows how many minutes, what what effect he'll have, but uh, already the electricity in this building. Yeah, the electricity, electricity for the number one scoring team in America, averaging over 90 points a game, already leading 19 to 10 here in the midst of an 11-0 run. So moves well, shoots 75% from the free throw line. So. He is not bashful to attack and even get to the foul line. When we asked Mike White, give us one player that really needs to step up his game tonight, he said, Chiwa, we've got to have him play big against this Kentucky front line. And it's tough because most Kentucky guys play outside, even their bigs do. Go ahead. Him and teach him the game. He comes here as an established player at this level as Big Z comes back in. And has been well coached at both of those right. places, which is important. Sometimes you might get a portal guy that Hasn't been well coached. Bad habits. Yep. And, and it can throw things to your team that, that, that you have to fix throughout the whole season. I, I think we've seen that in a couple of cases. The portal can, can help you. It can also hurt you if you don't get the right combination of guys. Keep an eye on Z. He's a face-up guy. Can knock in jump shots. Big Z for three. Are you kidding me? Unreal. Already a couple assists, a block, and now a tray. Have yourself a debut, Big Z. And a block. Another block. I think it's safe to say 44 and White is going to be a fan favorite. I think on my ride to the airport tomorrow, his face will be on the buses, <laughs> maybe on the airplane. <laughs> ah, Big Blue likes the big fella from Croatia. Spot up, shoot it, block shots, do everything on his opening night for this Wildcat team. On one end offensively, on the other end defensively, this Wildcat team off to a great night. Good script here. Here's this young man out of Croatia who's been waiting for months to become eligible. He's played three minutes. He's got a behind-the-back assist. He's got two blocks. He's got a steal. And he's also got his first three-pointer. All of that in three minutes and 12 seconds. I'd say Big Z has been up to the occasion, John Sunbold. And Big Blue Nation. He talked before that he'd love being here, and he appreciated the fans. What about after tonight? What a start. We thought he might get, what, Mike, four or five minutes? Four or five minutes. Be happy if he could get a shot off. Hopefully it hits the rim. There's got to be some rust, some conditioning. We all know there's regular shape and there's basketball shape. He doesn't look winded. He certainly looks like the game is coming to him rather easily so far. Well, we do know he's always been a star at every level he's played at. And he got here, and all he had to do was wait to be eligible and wait and wait and wait. We talked about the fact that he lost pounds. He was stressed. A lot of things going on, but probably no better play, coach to play for than Coach Cal, who would understand all that, send him home, let him come back. And what a night he has put on so far. How about what Coach Cal is dialing up here at 
twin tower action. You got 7 yep. 1 Bradshaw, 7 2 Big Z. Wagner slashing, throws it up Tough. there and flips it in. Tough shot because he went across his body. Touch seven feet, looks small <laughs> yes, around Big Z. But again, he's got such girth, G. Well, he'll be yeah. able to push Z underneath. Yeah, he can carve out space against anybody in this league. One great big man in the SEC this year. You think of Tolu Smith of Mississippi State. And great to see him back. Fade and fire. Good looking shot, but it rings off for Thomason. Well, Z's got great hands. You can just see it. Not big Z again. That's a deep two. And that's another long range jumper knocked down. And big Z says, hey, you're going to leave me open. I'm going to bury it. Now, talking to Jack Evans, a great Jack Evans. He said before the game, he might be our best shooter. Wow. Strong Ashton take by Thomason. by Thomason. He gets off to Schneid. He was. 0 for 4 from the field before that bucket. As we approach the six and a half minute mark of this first half, Kentucky up by 11. Dillingham. To Big Z again, no hesitation. My goodness, what in the world? Big Z putting on a clinic in this first half. So is it crazy that I just high-fived Jack Evans over there on the radio? <laughs> this is nuts. This is truly bizarro world stuff. This kid hasn't played a minute in his college career. How about another rebound for Big Z? Nine points, three boards, two blocks and a steal. If he makes another one, Cal might just sit down. <laughs> this crowd won't. They're all standing here at Rupp Arena. Another sellout in Lexington. They haven't played a home game on a Saturday in over a month. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes! Again, Big Z! And an and one on the other end, or is it? I can't tell, this crowd is so frenzied over the performance by Ivicic. Absolutely unbelievable <laughs> what we are witnessing. First ball game ever in the States. He's stepping out, but give his teammates credit. They keep finding him. Yes. Wagner with his third assist yes. in a row deep in the corner. Wow, what a reaction by this crowd. Sonny, we, we've seen a lot of great things over the years. It's hard to just kind of wow us. But when you haven't played a minute of college basketball, you come in in your much-anticipated debut. You play five minutes. You go four for four from three, 12 points, three boards, two assists, and two blocks. Again, please. He, he said, I love the environment. I love the fans. That was before he played the minute. Yes. Wait till tonight oh. when he leaves this building. I mean, NIL or not, he's never oh, paying for another goodness. drink or meal in Lexington again, that's for sure. What a night. What a start. They are actually. They look at his teammates. Yeah. Everybody's smiling ear to ear. And, and again. Everybody in Rupp Arena is on their feet. They're not sitting down. They're just absolutely amazed at what they're seeing. I don't care if you're the greatest shooter in the history of the sport. If you're Steph Curry, do you make your first four threes out of the block after never playing? It's just not supposed to happen. It, it's magical. If you submitted the script to Hollywood, somebody yeah. would say, no, that's too hokey. Nobody would believe it. <laughs> He will get a much deserved breather, although technically he's only played five minutes, but they're the most productive five minutes you'll see from a college basketball player. A plus 23, if you believe in the plus minus stat, five minutes, he's plus 20 for the game. Kentucky, what an incredible atmosphere. That man lighting it up so far. It's He's insane. Going to John Wall. It's just insane. Can he foul? Four can't for four? Can't imagine being there. I'm going to change my name to Ivisic. <laughs> the Ivisic room. You're going to put the accents there? The Ivisic room. Well, guys, they have indeed freed Big Z. And boy, have they reaped the benefits in this game today. Wow. In five minutes, 11 points, three rebounds, couple assists, couple of blocks for Big Z. 
that really was the spark that helped Kentucky out to this large lead. I mean, that's what's crazy. Five minutes is all he's played. Yeah. But the electricity, A, when he entered the floor, then made he made the first block, then he made the behind-the-back pass, and then he just went lights out from outside. Uh, and, and again, we don't have enough room on our uh, graphic machine to give you his full line because what you don't see there is the steal and the two blocks, not to mention four for four from downtown. Four for four and 12 points. Let's not uh, slight Big Z in his debut, which has been <laughs> nothing short of miraculous up to this point. He's uh, I've never seen anything like No, it. I mean, that's he the way he walked in the building. I, people were talking, hey, this is great, this is great. That's why I said at the well, the opener's kind of like coming to a circus. I right. thought, okay, it's electrifying, yeah. it's fun, because this team has, you know, put up 90 points a game. Yeah, oh, by the way, the, it's a top 10 team without him playing. They, they lead the nation in scoring with nearly 91 points a game. And you're like, okay, this is a nice little story. Give him a few minutes, get his feet wet. We did not expect anything like this. And his expression is just absolutely perfect. Yeah. Like I'm supposed this, to do this. this. This is why I came here. Look how tall, look how big and long he is. Can handle it, can pass it, and obviously can shoot it. And yeah, we've got a women's basketball triple header Sunday afternoon right here on the SCC Network. The Lady Balls will host Vandy in Knoxville at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Number one, South Carolina squares off against Texas A&M as well. Mike Morgan, John Sunvold, great to be with you this Saturday evening. Brutal cold outside, but man, oh man, is Kentucky providing a whole lot of heat this season offensively. Cal's best offensive team yet at 91 points per game. Best three-point shooting team Cal has had, and again, they rarely turn it over. Numbers uh, just absolutely pop off the chart. There's 64% tonight so far from the field. Yeah. It's been kind of a whole hum performance too you don't feel like they've even played their best basketball yet a couple of guys that have not heated up as of yet nice back door cut and there on the finish that'll be a goal 10. big z a little bit exuberant on that block deloach with a good pass uh, the transfer from bcu the confidence that mike white has in his bigs to run stuff through them on the elbows or up top and backdoor cuts. Can't say enough about what Mike White's team has done in this his second year in Athens. They've won 11 out of 12, and the one loss was a game they easily could have won. They squandered an 11-point lead in the second half against Tennessee. That 10-game winning streak that they had was the longest in over a half a century for Georgia basketball. The challenge tonight has been the fact they've not been able to stop Kentucky off the bounce. They're getting anything they want, getting to the paint, kicking for outside, and if they get close, look at the ball swing, penetration inside, a little floater, all that high percentage by this Wildcat team. Reeves just makes it so e look so easy, doesn't he? He really does. He's now in his second season here at Kentucky. He's an older player, though, 23 years old. That makes a difference playing against 18-year-olds. But again, his... The range that he now shows on the offensive end, not just a catch and release type player as he was a year ago. Ball can go on the floor. Averages nearly 20 points a ball game. First foul on Shepard, they wanted one. They're gonna get stronger during his time in Athens. 15 point game, two minutes, 20 seconds left to play in the first half. Shepard and Reeves on the perimeter along with Big Z and Wagner. And that time a rare miscue by Big Z, a turnover. Georgia trying to make them pay on the other end. This is Kane. Trying to force it into the corner to Melendez. Kane missed the early pass to Melendez. Missed it as he was driving. Melendez wide open, wanted to make the play himself. You got to learn, hey, give it up early, especially if you got a shooter in the corner. Now, one matchup I was looking forward to tonight, you got Kentucky shooting 39 as a team from downtown. Georgia and SEC play defends the three well. How about Big Z on a steal? Stop it. Just stop it already. He is in every category on the stat sheet <laughs> after his turnover, steal. It's two steals, two blocks to go along with everything offensively. Wagner misfires on the three. 
But Georgia defends the three exceptionally well. 26% opponents are shooting from behind the arc. And Georgia will try a three. That misses everything. Sunahara can't find it. Reeves behind the back and draws the foul on Kane. Up in the reach when you're guarded. Sideline out of bounds. 7-2. Checking up for Kentucky is Aaron Two steals, two blocks. A couple rebounds. A couple assists. 12 points. Making 11 points in the blink of an eye. Easy if you played the whole game. He's got eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I, that's about as efficient a line as you'll see for a young man in eight minutes of work. As though Kentucky basketball doesn't need another buzz. Exactly. <laughs> An another legend, another page in the great history of one of the greatest traditions of any basketball program that's ever been around the land. And they'll be celebrating, by the way, that 1984 Final Four team at the half. Sam Bowie, Kenny Walker, among others in attendance. That'll be honored at halftime. What a performance by that young man, Big Z, and what a performance by Kentucky. Up by 19, plenty to chew on back in studio. <laughs> a memorable first half here in Lexington. The Wildcats up by 19 against the Georgia Bulldogs as we welcome you back inside a sold-out rough arena. He is John Sunbold. I am Mike Morgan. John, we talk for a living. Uh, <laughs> it's very seldom that either one of us are speechless. Mm. Free Big Z. That's what happened in the first half, and what he did has left me speechless. Z is free, so to he speak, is free. right? Uh, I mentioned the start of the game. I, I was coming over here. It's kind of like circus atmosphere because of how electric the offense is. Little did I know that, that the circus was even bigger than I could imagine. And what we saw in the first half from big number 44 was so much fun and so much entertaining. And really took everybody by surprise. I mean, legendary Jack Evans sitting next to me on the radio. He took his headset off three different times. Yeah. And just shook his head. <laughs> and gave you a high five. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it, it, what a first half for the Kentucky Wildcats. And meanwhile, of course, he's not alone. Big Z is not. This is a Kentucky team that's been scoring 91 points a game without him. And they continue their torrid pace with 54 in the first half. Georgia, meanwhile, a really good defensive team. Both of these freshman guards, Shepard and Dillingham, have taken over for Kentucky. It's going to be a pick your poison for opponents throughout the rest of the year. Utmost confidence each guy has down the stretch of a game. We've seen Dillingham do it all season. We saw the massive free throws with a smile on his face yes. that were delivered against A&M yeah. by Shepard. Clutch, to say the least. Wagner on another drive and another bucket. They can't stop it. Really can't. And tonight, he's really favored going left. And a great take on the other end by Demery, hooping the harm. A chance for three, though. And we mentioned that 84 team that went to the Final Four before losing to the eventual champion, Georgetown, being honored. Led by Joe B. Hall, Sam Bowie. And there's Kenny Skywalker, former NBA slam dunk champion. There's Sam Bowie, a contemporary of my partner, John Sunvolds. And now you see the entire team being honored as if this crowd hasn't been treated to enough. One of the several Final Four teams in Kentucky history. Melvin Turpin was a heck of a player on that squad as well. They won the SEC. They won the SEC tournament, finished with 29 wins. You got any good Sam Bowie stories for us? Uh, how about this one? Wow, hey. An, an All-American team of, of a publication which we will not name, but let's just say it's a, a famous one at that. So this is uh, these are the guys <laughs> I brought to the playground with me. Uh-huh, yeah. And, and who's got Pretty next. good squad. <laughs> you know, it's interesting when I think of the SEC, there's Sam in the front, Dale Ellis, Tennessee, to the left of him, or to the left, from our left. Ennis Watley is in front of me there, Michael Jordan back there. But Ennis Watley, great player from Alabama. Yeah. Ralph Sampson on the right, Doc Ellis on the left, Pat Ewing. Keith Lee. But in 1979, the high school class, the big three, Ralph Sampson, Sam Bowie, wow. and Steve Stepanovich, right. a seven-foot center that I played with at Missouri. Those were the big three. But that, that class was James Worthy. And, I mean, it, the list goes Just on, loaded. Doc, and, or Dale Ellis. And, I'm trying to think Kentucky, if I go back. It was Hurt, Horde, Minifield, and Bowie were the four guys coming into Kentucky. All McDonald's guys and uh, 
Menifee has one of the best college dunks I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, yeah. you, it's, it yes. pops up every now and yes. then. It's on YouTube, and uh, it, it's <laughs> remarkable. Fabulous lead guard for the Wildcats for four years. Dillingham just picked up his third foul, though with the, the, the depth on this. Can, can turn the corner or make jump shots. Boy, they scored again. Yeah. Same play, same result. Second layup from underneath out of bounds. You rarely see one, let alone two. Melendez off a trampoline on the two-hand stuff. Yeah. Turn around, jump. That's who Mike White said is the guy that impresses him the most is Trey Mitchell. All the things that he does for this team. Veteran player, calm, cool, collected, can rebound, can shoot it, can pass. And when you read all the stories, he is the guy that's the true leader for especially the young players. Came from West Virginia. There's Shepard on a steal. He leads the league at steals. Ahead to Reeves. And a beautiful finish with the left. Shepard has such a great feel and understanding of the game. Scouting report knows where the players are going, where plays are going, makes the finishes. And will wave off the basket. A foul down low. Steven Anderson immediately waved it off. The foul is on Chiwa. Basketball recognition. Here comes the steal and how quickly the ball comes out to a guy in front of you. Some will hesitate. Some players don't see it. Shepard sees everything, responds, makes the play easy. Cal teams over the years. Number one ranked recruiting classes. McDonald's All-Americans all over the place. But there's just something that seems to be unique and special about this squad. They haven't made it to the second weekend of the tournament since 2019, which is hard to believe. This team seems like they could certainly make a deep run. Well, we know Cal is demanding. And what's great about this squad is that when I've watched, when I and, and we see them play, they're so unselfish. Yeah, that's always hard to get when you've got the great talent and the McDonald's guys. And the mixture, and I'll say it for the teams I've watched, the mixture of young and old. Give me some veterans who've been around that are the stable pieces and the young talent that Kentucky has with the mix of a Trey Mitchell, Antonio Reeves. Yeah. Now they've got night in, night out. You're not sure what you might get from the 18-year-old, but the 22- and 23-year-old can carry you through some bumps. That's right. And, and again, there's been other teams that maybe have rebounded better. But other than that, this team is a, the best passing team we've seen in a while, the best three-point shooting team we've seen in a while. They've got size, they've got speed, and they've got depth. And here's what the SEC will do. They will challenge this team throughout this season, the conference season, to get them ready for the NCAA tournament. They'll have to go to Tennessee. I, I don't know the schedule. Look, but if they play at Tennessee, any of these places that are tough, they lost at A&M. Right, they were challenged by an older team. Shepard, another bucket, unreal. Doesn't miss many. He, he, he came in 53% from downtown. He's three for three. So uh, the math, I don't know. He's got to be flirting with 60% from behind the arc. It's ridiculous. I was kidding him before the game, along with his coach, John Welch, legendary NBA coach, as they were working on shooting. I said, don't hit the rim. And, they, and he kind of looked at me and said, no, no, don't hit the rim. Count hitting the rim a miss. Then you change your right. thought process on shooting. Reeves, wow. goodness. Wow. Just heat check threes all over. It's raining threes in Lexington and a timeout called by Georgia. Wildcats clicking on all cylinders tonight. Nice boxes Z. tonight. Check them all. Don't get thrown out, but check every box. So there's the... Now, now, I'm not going to defend Z because that's an elbow. He is 7'2". Right. He hit a guy that's 6'5", which would be elbow height. Yes. Like, I, if I, you were going to normally block out. I, I know where you're coming. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah. He deserves it. I get yeah. it. By the letter of the difficult. law, it's right. Yeah, call. difficult if you're blocking out and you right. put your elbows up because it's chin high. Right. It's a reason, Mike. I never went in that colored lane oh, when I got no. in the NBA. No, 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 because yeah. my face was at their elbow. Yeah, yeah, there was no sense. You were Coach Cal imploring this Kentucky fan base, which there's no better in the land. They know the game. They love the game. They show up for the games. But he wants them to be loud and rowdy, too, not just enough to show up. And I tell you what, today they have been loud, they have been rowdy, and they have made their points clear as day. That's a silencer by Abdur Rahim as he gets back 
in a rhythm, his fourth three-pointer. Yeah, Jabri for another three. He is a guy that can really catch and shoot, and he worked so hard this summer, and, and Mike White just praises the fact of his leadership. Georgia zoning up Kentucky. A popular strategy in years past when Kentucky has not been a great three-point shooting team. Strong take, high off the glass, and a foul run by Justin Hill. Jabri Abdur-Rahim comes in this ball game, shooting over 41% from three. He's got unlimited range, so teams in the SEC know they got to get to him. But what he does well, Mike, he moves without the basketball, yeah. finds openings, and creates the distance. We give us you can't stop Kentucky. It's going to be real hard to make a comeback here. I listened to Mike White's press conference this week. Back home in Athens before they left Kentucky. He knew how good Kentucky was. We yeah. said, hey, we have to catch some breaks. Got to make some shots. Ball has to bounce our way. It hasn't really happened to them. No, it hasn't. What has happened is more incredible execution by Kentucky's offense. Shepard on the last dime to Mitchell. Now Reeves on the attack. Reeves all the way. Blocked. Great block by Ansel Amidi. Big Z. Wheeling and dealing. Missed a duck, though. He wanted a foul. Here comes Kane on the other end. Abdur Rahim on a three. He got fouled. Count the pass. Away. Blocked. Great block by Ansel Amidi. Big Z. Wheeling and dealing. Missed a duck, though. He wanted a foul. Here comes Kane. Reeves all the way. Blocked. Great block by Ansel Amidi. Big Z. Wheeling and dealing. Missed a duck, though. He wanted a foul. Teed up. Here's a spin. He wants the foul on Ansel Amibe. With what Jabri has been able to do tonight with 33 points. Big Z down low, two-hand flush, and then does it spin up on the rim. That's going to get you a technical foul. And Big Z is going to learn that quickly. That <laughs> doesn't fly in college basketball but you know what i don't think he's too worried about it 13 points now for big z yeah we've talked about getting that sheet everything filled up the memorable performances tonight i think it's safe to say the guy that still stole the show even though he only played a few minutes big z I think what Big Z did in the first five minutes of action will be remembered around here for a long time to come. Kentucky wins it by a final of 105-96. The Cats are now 4-1 in the SEC. For John Sunbone, our entire SEC network crew, Mike Morgan saying so long, we send you now to the studio. Time now to welcome him into the show, Zvonimir, uh, Zvonimir rather, uh, Ivisic joining us now. Look. We know we're going to talk to you a lot, okay, over the coming year or years. So first things first, pronounce your first and last name for us so we never get it wrong. Zvonimir Ivišić. Zvonimir Ivišić. One more time. Zvonimir Ivišić. Okay. Zvonimir Ivišić. Uh, beautiful. What, what was it like, like the first shot you took and made in front of the 20,000 people in your first game at Rupp Arena? Uh, to be honest, I was nervous. I was, I was really nervous. So when he got, like when he went in, I was happy, and uh, I don't know. That's it. I was excited. It was fun. I enjoyed it. That's it. <laughs> when you found out you were going to be eligible to play, what was the message from Coach Cal to you? We cried. We both cried, and then oh, he got that. And then we started jumping it in his office. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Even since yeah. who jumped, did you jump in Cal's arms or did Cal jump in your arms? Who, like, how nah, did that go? <laughs> nah, I just started jumping from because okay, I was happy okay, excited. Okay. I just started jumping like crazy. Here. Okay, now I have to ask you, playing in Croatia, growing up playing yeah. there, playing against other pros, did it prepare you for a moment like this with the crowd yeah. and the atmosphere and the competition? How did it, how did it prepare you for the competition of SEC play? Well, I think he prepared me pretty good. I, I was feeling confident. But tonight, I had a really fun time. I think I was, 
I was prepared pretty good. Yeah. Uh, there's no question about it. No. So we saw a little bit of everything. We saw you hit the three. We saw some passing. We saw some steals. We saw an elbow. Okay. We and we saw you hang on the rim after a dunk. What, yeah. What's your most memorable moment from this first game? I don't know. Just like just teammates being proud of me and happy for me. Uh, because I played, I became eligible, and that's it. Mm. We're all happy for you, buddy. Yeah, was definitely. Thank you, appreciate yeah. it. Hey, congratulations to you, man. We look forward to watching you and, and talking more about you and this team. Thank you, thank let's you, go, appreciate Z. it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>